The current status of marijuana or weed, as it's commonly known in Namibia, is that of being an illegal substance. Cannabis as a treatment for cancer has been well documented in the scientific community and cancer success stories surface from time to time online, with many people endorsing the fact that it has eased the pain associated with cancer amongst other diseases, there is a worldwide outcry. But in Namibia, it remains illegal. These calls don't come from the medical quarters. They come from, you know, the, the Rastafari, the hippies, and um, those people who are ultra-leftist. And maybe they are not selling their case properly, because I'm not convinced yet that it's an issue that, for example, law reform would want to look into. Because the submissions that I've received are not substantive and it doesn't present me with a credible justification to utilize state funds, utilize state resources like staff members that I have to my disposal to start researching and drafting on a, on a subject like that. Probably we should even start drafting a legislation on names before we even get to um, Dacha. In Namibia, if you are 18 years or older and found in possession of Dacha, you could face jail time of up to 10 years. If caught with more than 115 gram, you may be charged with trading. If it is a drug that would require, um, that is approved by and under the Medicines and Related Substances Control Act as a council that deals with that, then it doesn't even require a bill. It just requires an amendment to the schedule or they make a regulation and they pass it if it is for medicinal purposes. If ever considered, the potential drawbacks can be minimized or overcome by measures including the close medical supervision of patients, the creation of appropriate dispensaries and the introduction of laws, policies and penalties that support patients but minimize public risks. Please check out our poll question later in the bulletin and let us know what your views are on the matter.